Welcome to Finance and Excel video number 95. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for chapter 10, click on the link directly below the video and scroll all the way down to the Excel Finance uh, class section. Hey, here, so we've been talking about period returns for the last five videos. And now we want to look at uh, past stock data. So we have a particular stock. We have the price at year end, and we have the dividends. Ah, and so now we're going to calculate all the period of holding returns and then average them. And that way we can have an estimate of what this stock might return in the past, a return in the future. Now, of course, this assumes that the pattern of price movement and dividends are going to hold true in the future. Anytime you use past data to predict the future, that's what you are assuming. Ah, but we get to put everything we've learned into play here. We want to calculate our period or holding returns. It's always end divided by begin minus 1. So I'm going to say sum of these two. Now, here's where we started. But here's the stock at the end of one year and the dividend. So I take that divided by the begin. Now, notice those are relative cell references. So as we copy them down, it'll work perfectly. And of course, we take n minus begin and subtract 1. We can double click and send these down. And now we have our past period or holding returns. Now we can take the arithmetic mean. Arithmetic mean means equals sum. Oh yeah, you add them all up and divide by the count. The count function counts numbers. Now, obviously, this is silly here. In fact, I'm going to copy this escape, and I'm going to put this over here, say, average. It's uh, the mean, it's called. That's the silly way to do it. But since this is the first time we're talking about this, that is the, how you calculate. There's an average function we're going to use. And actually, we're going to use um, average going forward um, in the next few chapters quite a lot. So we simply use the average. And I'm going to highlight all these. Now remember, when the people name this function, they just use the everyday word, which most people do. But in statistics, there are many different types, and in finance, which uses statistics extensively, so there's just all sorts of different kinds of averages. So when in regular language, when you say average, we think of add them up, divide by the count. But in math and finance and statistics, there's all sorts of averages. So this function, when we use it, it means mean, add them up and divide by the count. All right, uh, so now we can use this as an estimate for the future. Now we're going to, going forward in this chapter here, we're going to have to talk about the fact that it looks like it returned 9, 9, and then minus 19, and then up 23 and down 11. That's pretty volatile. So we're going to have to, even though, you know, on an average year, this is the return we would expect based on past data, we're going to have to come up with some numerical measure to tell us if a stock is erratic like this. Um, and we will do that going forward. But in our next video, we're going to compare a arithmetic mean, which we all pretty much all know, with something new called the geometric mean. Bottom line here, past data. Now we can use this to maybe uh, predict something in the future. All right, we'll see you next video.